ChatGPT has got even better for editing, writing, and collaborating with you. So when you head over to ChatGPT, this is what it looks like. I'm signed in and I have paid for the Plus subscription, which is very important for this part. But essentially up here, we've now got all of the models. It's so confusing. All of the models, they keep on changing. Let's head over to GPT-40 with Canvas. And then we end up with a similar sort of interface. Um, we can upload files, so that's good. We can upload files just like before from Google Drive or upload computer. We've also got Microsoft OneDrive and all that sort of stuff, so which is perfect for school and university if you've got OneDrive. But essentially what we're doing here is starting the collaboration process. You can upload a notes document, you know, something where you've taken some random notes and you're like, hey, use this as a basis for start writing, writing a literature review. So let's go in and have a look and just say, um, uh, write, uh, write a literature review about OPV devices. You must be fed up about me talking about OPV devices. Anyway, here we are. So this is what happens, is it pops open into this new format. We've got chat down the side and you can see that it's creating this document here. Now, the right side of the screen is very important because this is now interactive. Look at this, look, I can put spaces, I can put stuff, whatever happens here, I can change. So you can see that if I want it to be um, just normal, I can get rid of the star star. Um, all of that is, you know, really nice. You can just edit now in ChatGPT, but it's so much more powerful than that. Do you remember when with ChatGPT, you had to be like, oh, rewrite this, and it would just like reformat the whole thing. Here, if I want to expand on something, all I have to do is highlight something, let's say this paragraph, and then I can say as chat. We've also got this little one up here. We've got as chat GPT. And then I can say expand on this. And then I click go. And then it's asking down here editing. And you can see it only changes that part of the text, which is brilliant because in the past it would regenerate everything. And sometimes it would change the stuff you liked. It would um, change the meaning or the phrasing to something a little bit more awkward. Now you can really sort of like sniper in. Oh, haven't used that one before. You can sniper in on the problem and kill it without having to deal with the rest of the sort of like text generation. Now, it says here, I've expanded on the advantages of non-fullerene acceptors, blah, 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 which is brilliant. So now we've got a little bit more information here. So it's changed the text, brilliant, Mwah, love that. But what if I'm not quite sure what I need to do? ChatGPT can now leave comments on text and code. We'll get to code in a minute, but let's go here and say, leave comments on where I could improve the text. All right, now it's gonna go through the text and it's gonna leave me comments. Failed to comment. <laughs> this was working per perfectly before. All right, let's open up this and let's see what happens. Leave comments on where I can improve. There we are. Okay, now it's working. Um, Oh, now it's failed again. Okay, you can see it tried. <laughs> it tried. Oh no, it's trying again. Okay, here we go. So, organic OPV device says here, consider adding specific examples. Then it says it might be useful to include a brief explanation, tunability. So now here we've got a way for ChatGPT to act like your supervisor, for example, you should give it much more sort of like direction than what I did, just like leave comments. But it's like, I'm looking for ways to improve my academic writing, highlight where I could do that if you need to do that, for example. Or I need to add more detail to this because my supervisor told me, leave comments of where I can leave more detail about this research, that sort of stuff. So now you can have all of the comments right here and then we can click apply on the comments and it will go away and think, and there we are. It's recommended what it needed to do, and now it's doing what it needed to do. Oh, I love that. And there we are. This is all of the stuff then that it recommends. You can click apply, and it will just change that little bit here, which is fantastic. So you can actually put your own text in to this canvas, and you can start manipulating it with ChatGPT and only changing the sections you need to change. Brilliant.
so good. But you can also use it for code. So let's check that out. Let's go to ChatGPT Canvas and let's just say, um, write a Python code for um, analyzing uh, device efficiencies. Oh God. Oh God. Why? Why? Why is this so hard? All right, analyzing, let's go American on that. So now with um, this, it will create its own Python code. So this is brilliant if you need to do statistical analysis on your stuff. Now you have Python code. It doesn't run in here or you can copy it across to your own Python environment. And uh, yeah, you can see it does exactly the same thing that it did with writing with code, which is just bloody fantastic. I've been using this so much for adjusting writing, for writing new code, for different projects that I'm just sort of like interested in. It works incredibly. If you're running this code and you get an error, all you have to do is put this error in here and you can even put where the error sort of like has happened by highlighting the bit and then saying ask GPT, put in the error in there and it just works on that bit of code, which is just brilliant for troubleshooting. It saved me hours and hours of work and it can probably do the same thing for you too. But where does that leave the rest of these models? Let's have a look. So ChatGPT for Omni, this is the one I use every single day. You can put in text, you can put in images, you can put in anything that you want it to work with in this attach file here. And I use it as my daily driver. For this YouTube channel, I use it a lot. For working with text, I use it a lot. For coming up with new ideas, new ways of thinking about things, for criticizing writing, for coming up with new novel, interesting kind of like um, titles, thumbnails, that sort of stuff. I use it every single day and it just is such a awesome tool that you should be using as your daily driver. And then once you need to do writing, head over to Canvas and then we've got um, O1 preview uses advanced reasoning. So with advanced reasoning, you can see you can't upload anything. That's because I think it just sort of like uses so much server power. The last thing they want it doing is looking over other bits of text and absorbing that. So you can see here, what can I help with? Let's have a look. So we want it to think and it will actually go away, think about the question and the prompt in detail and then provide you with an answer. This is brilliant if you are working in academia, if you're working in research because you don't want chat GPT essentially taking the easy path and just giving you uh, like it's uh, you know first thoughts it will go away and think deeply let's have a look at that all right I've got here what are the most important parts of controlling OPV device efficiency we'll click go and you can see here then it will start thinking I love this it's thinking and understanding OPV deficiency mapping out efficiency so here once you click that arrow you can see what it's doing what it's thinking behind the scenes and it won't just sort of like blur out some information like other models have done in the past. And here we go, this is what actually it's come up with, material selection, active layers. When I look at this, I have a lot more confidence on what this is producing because it's just taking a moment to think about the question, break down the question for itself and then provide an answer. So if you're generating ideas, if you're thinking about new things for your research, use this model because I think it's gonna work much better than the daily driver. So that is all ChatGPT has to offer you, incredible. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about ChatGPT versus perplexity for academic research. I think you'll love it.